Here he comes, Jason Gross! I lost 40 pounds. That's what I hope to say in a few years. I have goals. Uh, I actually had a girl tell me the other day that I look like an even fatter version of Zach Galifianakis. To which I replied, you look like an even fatter version of someone who's not famous. No, but I'm having a good day. I have one of those days where you ever wake up and your pants are a little bit looser, your coffee tastes a little bit better, and you're think to yourself, man, this is not my house. <laughs> I was to school today. I was going to make fun of hipsters, but uh, everybody's doing that, so. Do that. Feeling this is the first time I've had a drink in a little bit. Uh, you ever have one of those nights where you get drunk and somebody from work the next day is like, hey, you were having fun last night, and you're like, you know what? Just get dressed and go home, you know? <laughs> you know? You know there are seven billion people on this planet as of this month. If you laid each one of those people end to end going around the earth as many times as possible, most of them would drown. <laughs> I hate when people name their dogs like racist dog names based on based on the like the origin of the dog. Like you have two German shepherds and they're named Hans and Franz, or you have a Chihuahua named Paco, you know. And when I get a dog to go with my pit bull to Sean, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> sure I don't know about you guys, but that SPCA commercial with Sarah McLaughlin. Oh god, that always makes me cry, right? Because I know it's up to me to kill Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> you know what I feel sorry for? Uh, out of all the animals are crickets. They only go to the worst comedy shows. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but do you think Admiral Obvious is really fucking annoying? <laughs> are there two sadder words when put together than airport chilies? I'm trying to campaign to get some, uh, we have awareness months for a lot of things, but for a lot of diseases, but I'm trying to put a positive spin on these diseases, like, uh, sickle celebration. <laughs> oh yeah, tism. <laughs> it's gotta be better than the first one, which was, uh, yes, we cancer. <laughs> so Sam Adams has a contest where you can, uh, be a brewer for a day. Fulfilling all of our need for a, uh, you know, temp job, but um, I told a friend of mine about it and He was like, that's a pretty cool job. You, you can get drunk at that job. I was like, I can get drunk at any job and keep it for a day <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you uh, If your boss ever asks you are you drunk the correct answer is not getting there <laughs> If you ever want space at a sporting event because you're too crowded, whenever something good happens on the court or the field, just whisper loud enough for everybody around you to hear it. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> I dated a lot of chicks. I used to date this girl who was, she was into the nastiest, kinkiest stuff, and whenever she'd tell me about it, it made me throw up a little bit in her mouth. Awful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing this girl now, and uh, if one man's trash is another man's treasure, I'm dating this really white treasure girl. Really, really treasure. Awesome. I'm gonna do some quick uh, impressions for you guys. Uh, this is a celebrity who is uh, who is very famous, but also has amnesia. Do you know who I am? That's it. This is uh, Casper the Ghost before he became. Casper the ghost. Mommy, my insides hurt. He's a little boy. That's what that's about. And this is uh, this is gonna take a little microphone work here. This is um, every '80s drummer from the uh, from the '80s. This is uh, every '80s drummer is surprised and then happy that they're drumming.
<laughs> as if they're saying, can I do it, can I do it, can I do it? Oh wait, I'm a drummer. <laughs> That's that. There's a martial arts studio here in town that uh, advertises that it, uh, pressure point system, some kind of Japanese takedown method. And they say that uh, you can take down a person three times your size. I heard it on the radio. And at first I was impressed by that. And then I thought about it and I was like, I come across a man who's 18 feet, nine inches tall, weighs 750 pounds. I'm not fighting that man. And it's date for the prom. Why are we still using horsepower as a means to convey how fast a car is? You don't know how fast, a, how much power a horse has if, you know, unless you own a horse or something, much less, you know, a bunch of them, but if you show up at a party in a candy apple red Ford Mustang, like 550 horsepower, it's pretty impressive. If I show up at the same party on a 1986 Power Peralta skateboard being pulled by 85 Appaloosas and Palominos, <laughs> You're going to remember me. <laughs> <laughs>